Thanks for watching and I want to share with you a beautiful derivation of the arithmetic geometric mean inequality that I found on Twitter. More precisely, what this says is that the geometric mean of a and b, so square root of a times b, is less than or equal to the arithmetic mean, which is a plus b over 2, at least in two dimensions. And here's the geometric derivation. Consider the following rectangle with sides square root of a and square root of b. Then, on the one hand, the area of that rectangle is square root of a times b. On the other hand, let's cut out a very special triangle from that rectangle, namely the one with sides square root of a and square root of a. Not only that, since it was so much fun, let's extend that side of the triangle to get that even bigger triangle. More or less, very curvy here. And notice the following. So this triangle has angles 90, 45, 45, but so does this triangle, 90, 45, 45. Therefore, they're congruent, and since this side is square root of a, this big side is also square root of b. And now notice the following. On the one hand, the area of the rectangle is less than or equal to the sum of the areas of the triangles. On the other hand, the sum of the areas of the triangles is just one half square root of a squared, so one half a plus one half square root of b squared, which is one half b. And voila, there you go, you have the AMGM inequality. Now, as a mathematician, I naturally get very excited when I see a new proof because I always think, how can you generalize this? And I did not find an answer, but uh, I was thinking a little bit of this in three dimensions because in three dimensions, we get the following. Well, A and G M then just becomes that the cube root of a, b, c is less than or equal to a plus b plus c over 3. Again. Geometric mean is less than or equal to the arithmetic mean, and at least my hunch would be to now consider the following prism with sides cube root of a, cube root of b, and cube root of c. I was thinking a little bit about the analog because here the volume of this prism is indeed cube root of a times b times c and then this is where I got a bit stuck. I wasn't sure what the analog of the um, triangles are. I mean probably um, it's called pyramids but now we have to think a little bit about what this looks like so my hunch was just let, let this be cube root of a and then also cut out a cube root of a here. So like this, you have this triangle, but then uh, really to get one third a, maybe this also has to be, mm, it has to be a square side. So this would also be cube root of a. So we can cut out this part of the triangle, which gives a over three. And then probably by extension, you could extend it that way and then get another um, prism in this case with cube root of b, maybe like that. So b over 3. And again, this is just purely conjecture, but my guess is maybe the rest also become c over 3. And then what you get in the end is once again the sum of the uh, volumes of those pyramids is bigger than or equal to the volume of that box which is cube root of a times b times c. So we get this but as I said this is more work in progress and it would be cool if someone could fill in the details maybe to see how this works. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.